Today I wanted to tell you about a film that for many viewers was one of the biggest surprises of 2021. This film is Furiosa, directed by Cyprian Olenski. The film joined the modest group of neatly cut and executed Polish gangster cinema. Here, we need to pause for a moment. It is impossible to talk about gangster cinema in Poland without mentioning the most important Polish film made after the transformation, Psy, Dogs, Pigs. Pigs is a film rated as cult in every respect. Created just after the political transformation, it tells the story of Franz Maurer, a former security service officer who, as a part of reshuffle and redeployment, suddenly becomes an ordinary police officer. Some of his former colleagues find their way with him into the police force, but Franz's best friend Olo, who starts to get involved in dirty business, is fired from his job. The film peaks upon entering cinema screens, divided critics into two camps. At the same time, the shockingly vulgar language, violent scenes, expressive characters and criticism of the regime became a hit amongst the so-called ordinary audience. Quotes from the film have permanently entered colloquial Polish. Unfortunately, most of them contain swear words, so I cannot quote them here, but the more censorious ones can at least be quoted. Normalnie, bo to zła kobieta była. Stopczych, co wy tam palicie? Ja? Radomskie. Ale jak pan major woli, to Franz ma kamele. Chyba już pójdę, nie? Tu będę tak sam siedział. No po chybele. Czarnym i czerwonym. Po chybele wszystkim. Czy jest pan gotów stać na straży porządku prawnego odnowionej demokratycznej Rzeczypospolitej Polskiej? Bezapelacyjnie, do samego końca. Mojego lub jej. Pigs is the first truly sensational Polish film made following American standards and regardless of any evaluations, it is one of the most important films made after the 1989 breakthrough that changed Polish audience and their preferences forever. The film received a sequel and over 20 years later the third part was released, the footage of which can be found on the Polska Półka Filmowa channel. After Psy, gangster cinema in Poland experienced more downs than ups. Another, objectively speaking not very good, but now cult film Młode Wilki, aka Smugglers, was made, telling the story of a group of young smugglers. It quickly became apparent that Poles were not masters of gangster cinema, and the genre evolved into the gangster comedy, which has produced a number of quite good and also now legendary titles. This include, this includes, this included Killer, Chłopaki Nie Płaczą, Boys Don't Cry, Sztos and many others. Recent years, however, have seen a renaissance of gangster cinema. This genre group has been steadily growing with good productions. A viewer who likes this kind of cinema can reach for films such as Proceder by Michał Węgrzyn, Jak Zostałem Gangsterem, How I Became a Gangster by Maciej Kawulski, or Najmro, Kocha, Kradnie, Szanuje, The Getaway King by Mateusz Rakowicz. The time has also come for Furiosa, a film that will offer the audience neither great script surprises or non-obvious solutions. Quite the opposite, if someone likes strong, fast-paced cinema and has seen films such as Football Factory, after all Furiosa is a film about football hooligans, they will find a lot of obviousness and cliches here. Olenski's film will surprise you with something completely different. The authentic joy of the story presented, bursting from the screen. The director and his film crew have done their best not to produce only a god honor team story full of pathetic dialogues. Furiosa is a recipe for presenting a story about friendship, the love of a woman and somewhat misunderstood love of the team and how to be a decent gangster. Who is a decent gangster? You know, it's one who is guided by honor above all else, and principles and friends are more important to him than money. 
As we know, one must always be decent in life, whatever one's occupation. And such as honorable gangster arouses positive feelings in the audience. Anyway, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have not been encouraged by any of the above arguments, you must watch Furiosa anyway. Why? Because of one man, Mateusz Damiński. This actor has a lot of roles to his credit, the criticized ones and the appreciated ones. Before Furiosa, he was rather associated with being a pretty nice boy. He played in romantic comedies, for example, Kohai i Tańcz, Love and Dance, in historical dramas, for example, Jutro idziemy do kina, Let's go to the movies tomorrow, in the drama series Na dobre i na złe or Przyjaciółki. If I had to name his best known role, it would probably be that of Cezary Baryka in the adaptation of The Spring to Come, Przedwiośnie. You remember Przedwiośnie, a novel by Stefan Żeromski from 1924. This is the novel from which comes the metaphor of glass houses, very often used in Polish culture. We use it to denote utopian visions, which when confronted with reality cause great disappointment. Mateusz Damiński in Furiosa will not disappoint you. The role in Furiosa is absolutely, unquestionably and irrevocably Mateusz Damiński's best. Golden in his performance will appeal to any audience. Thanks in part to his performance, Furiosa is film bursting with emotions, which is what you should expect from good cinema. If I haven't convinced you now, I won't be able to convince you with anything else to watch it. See you in the next episode. Remember that you can also find various interesting facts about the Polish language and culture on Facebook, Instagram and in other Polish film shelf movies. If you want to support the activities of the Polska Półka Filmowa Polish Film Shelf channel, check out Buy Coffee 2 or Buy Me a Coffee. Thanks to your support, I can do even more.